Base is full, and Brad Miller up right back to Figueroa. A home for one, and Aaron Sibia can't get the handle on the ball. It looked to be an easy one, two, three double play, and JP couldn't find the handle, so it goes down as a fourth play. Still looking for that third out. That's exactly exactly what you're hoping for right there. A comebacker with the bases loaded. I think Lloyd McClendon is going to be arguing that he didn't have control of the ball. And home plate umpire Paul Schreiber is going to call in the crew chief Ted Barrett and they will go over and take a look at this on replay and you know the the way the the ruling the clarification has come down that may not be an out and now Ron Washington is going to come out when he wants some clarification Ted Barron saying no nope, you can't come out and talk about it Once the challenge is decided, you can't argue the, the uh, result of the replay. And Ron Washington, you see him kind of waving off Ted Barrett, so I want to come out and argue with him. I understand about the rules is he can only block home plate if he has the ball. And while he's waiting to receive the ball, he has to give the runner a lane to mm -hmm. slide in. Uh, but I, I just think the whole thing just so ironic that Mike Sosia would challenge <laughs> the catcher blocked yeah. the plate illegally. Did you see the one earlier this week? Russell Martin on a force play had his foot on the plate and it went against the Pirates. He was they called the runner safe. They said Martin was was blocking the plate. To me this is of all the replay situations. This is the one that still needs the most tweaking the most massaging to get it the, the way they want it to. Get yeah or, it, so. or scrap it and go back the other way. And you know it's every man for himself to get the home plate. I mean, I don't. There's no question that he's out on the play. Yep. It's whether he was blocking it before, before Calhoun, or you know, before the, he got the ball before Calhoun started. He didn't get Calhoun a lane to slide in. And they are going to count the run. And this could be a short night at the office for Ron Washington. And it is. He's out. You cannot argue anything that has been overturned by replay. And as soon as you come out to argue it, you're out of the game. I don't know, Crocky. I understand the intent, but. I, I, I believe me, I don't know what the rule is about this, but that there's no way that the catcher was blocking the plate and trying to stop the runner from right. getting the home plate. The throw is coming from foul territory, right. so you have to look at the angle to throw and where he has to stand to get the throw. So the Rangers lose the argument and they're... And they have Cruz picked off and in a rundown and Bonifacio... Handles it himself. What a great chance there to see his uh, straight line to line speed there. Emilio Bonifacio, and it goes 1 3 6. Now, Gary Pettis in the face of Angel Hernandez, the first base umpire, made that call. Joined now by Ron Washington. But Gary, I don't think, is arguing about the tag. He might, been, might have been arguing that it was a balk. Yeah, there was no question about the tag. But uh, that's about as exercise as we've seen Gary Pettis get yeah. this year. Ron's trying to let Gary get his words in. But at the same time, he's got to stick up. He wants to keep his coach in the game and stick up for him at the same time. And now they're also dealing with the crew chief, uh, Joe West, and that does it for Wash. Don't get too close, Wash. Well, I'm glad I'm not a very good lip reader. Uh, 
he is well, if you're unloading a, it. If on you're not a very good lip reader, then you won't know what he you wouldn't have known what he was saying. I don't think I want to know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not sure what precipitated the argument, but it's gone from Gary over to Ron. This is involving all but uh, the home plate umpire Lance Barrett. See anything in that move? Well, it's hard to tell from that angle. Generally, if a pitcher box, he brings his a left-hand pitcher bring his right leg too far toward home plate, cross that imaginary 45-degree angle. You really can't tell from there. Scott Coolbaum, Rangers hitting coach, placing Gary Pettis. Jackie Moore has been here a few times. Bench coach turn manager. Three runs now that have scored after calls that really looked like they were missed calls by uh, Reynolds. In the second inning and by Andy Fletcher here and now Mike Maddox getting into it with Andy Fletcher and that will cut short his afternoon and Ron Washington as well. So he'll get his money's worth now you can be sure. Holland had Murphy struck out. Fletcher called it low. It was well over the center of the plate in the strike zone. The very next pitch at RBI double by Murphy. And Washington just seen enough of this today. Yeah, there really wasn't much, much question that the pitch was high enough. And then after looking at the replay, there wasn't much question that it was right near the center of the plate. I can't remember the last time I heard this level of booing at the ballpark. But it's been building all afternoon. Yeah, just a lot of frustrating things. You, know, you, you can't use them. You can use them for an excuse if you want to. But the bottom line is, you got to do what it takes to win a ball game, in spite of things that you don't like. Six-year contract to stay, but has not stayed healthy. Cardinal taking himself. Whoa! Kind of had to bend back to get the bag. And Chavez is going to say he didn't see him actually touch the bag. It looked like he missed it from up here. That's Paul Schreiber over there. His momentum took him past the base. Well, I don't know if he touched it. <laughs> I don't think he did. Came close though. <laughs> He's looking at the dugout. First base umpire. Who else but the first base umpire is looking right there? You know? I don't know that they can overrule it, but I have no problem with them getting together. Perspective you per, you you prefer. And so he really couldn't tell whether he nicked the bag or not. And this is unusual. This is that really was unusual. unusual. And that's going to bring Ron Washington out. Joe West is a crew chief, and he'll saunter on over there to talk to Wash. Now they may have indeed gotten that call right. And, and if they did, then I'm 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 fine with it. It's just unusual to see someone else overrule that call when they're so far away. I wonder which umpire actually had the view to oh, would that be the home plate umpire be, Angel Hernandez had to be the home plate umpire. Is, did Wash get the gate. Yeah. Joe West threw him out. Joe doesn't seem real interested in the conversation here at all. It, it can't be Joe West that made that call. It had to be the home plate umpire. And now goes as an E1 and for the second time on this road trip Ron Washington is tossed. The squeeze, and the trainer can find the ball. He tags him. He got him. Ichiro is out. And Burns is just standing there as Ron Washington is out to, to talk about why that wasn't a bunt attempt. Jim Wolf has told him, don't come out here and argue. And Wash has been tossed. He will miss an unbelievable ball game here. Elvis had a key hit back in that seven run fourth inning drove in two. There goes Bourbon. They're pitching out again. Jason's throw. Oh they tagged the leg. And Ron Washington is out to argue with Chris Cuccioni out there. Bourbon looked like he had the bag but Cuccioni is going to say that the tag got down on the on the cleat of Bourbon. What is yeah he's, he's going to say he tagged him low. You're right. But in the umpire's mind, he tagged him low, 
before the hand got to the bag. It's a tough call for an umpire. Very difficult to see the tag and whether the hand got there in time. Great look at it here. Yeah. Tagged him on the on the backside. You know, if he tacked him on the backside, he might have gotten it there in time. Wash just got tossed. Ron Washington thrown out of the game. Boy, that is a bang bang play right there. It sure was, and you know, he it, it definitely looks like the arm got in there. But when you watch it in slow motion, if the tag actually occurred, you can't tell for sure. But if it did, well, it looked like it might have gotten there. You can trick them. It's all between the ears. Gets the call for strike three. Boy, Kinsler thought it was high, and Ron Washington's had in a hurry to try to keep Kinsler in the game. I don't know what K-Zone says, but I agree with Kinsler. That ball is up. And Ron Washington, on his birthday, no less, just got tossed and, and, out of the game. You know what? Wash, Wash came out, said his piece, and was walking away, and Dan Bellino didn't let it go. And that's when Wash came back and got ejected.